I think she has decided that Jason is more exciting than school, and Jason is uh, a bum. Jason is a bum. He's not a bum. Jason is a bum. He's not. He doesn't go to school. His father's an alcoholic. He doesn't have any any plans for himself at all. <laughs> he has no respect. He has no goals. He he's just a complete bum. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I don't know what else to call him. What would you call him? Mm -hmm. So you don't think that Jason is a good influence on Sarah? Uh, no, I don't think Jason's a good influence on Sarah. She oh, doesn't go to school. She I stays see. out late at night. I don't I know see. where she is. Oh. He drives this uh, beat up car, ninety miles an hour all the time. Yeah. He pull. Why does he pull? He pulls out from in front of our house. The whole block can hear the tires. Mm -hmm. Why does he do this? Mm -hmm. He needs to be bad. He needs to be bad. Mm -hmm. And I think he makes her need to be bad. Wow. Wow. So this is very upsetting for you. It's very upsetting for me wow. because I think Sarah has everything going for her and mm -hmm. it's not that I don't know how you mm -hmm. feel I know that you want excitement and you don't just want to be a boring you don't want to just be boring mm -hmm. you just don't want to be boring you mentioned she has everything going for her what do you mean I don't think a 15 year old girl needs to stay out later than 1130 on the mm -hmm. weekend I think it's absolutely yeah so every night every night every night yeah Maybe Dad doesn't feel the same way you do. I think, uh, I think we need reliability. That's the, only, that's the thing I think we need. You think that's what's important? Yeah, consistency. Uh-huh. And, uh, I think maybe if, uh, Sarah was, uh, consistent and maybe your mom could count on her, then she might cut her some slack on the weekends, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I, when I was 15 years old, my dad said 9 o'clock on the weeks and 10.30 on the weeknights, and that's it. And I didn't make a big deal out of it. I knew that's when I was supposed to be home, and I came home. Mm -hmm. And I, I just I don't I don't know I don't know what the deal is I just don't understand what the deal is with it I mean I think you do it just to make I mean you no you don't do it just to aggravate me I know you don't do it just to aggravate me but you don't make any effort you don't make any effort at all to please me and I'm not doing it just to be happy I don't I don't need you to come home to be in a good mood I need you to come home because night is it's it's dangerous it's dangerous out there there Things happen at night. I mean, it's, it's late enough. Ten o'clock is late enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're worried about Sarah's safety? Yeah. Is yeah. that what we're talking yes. about? Yes, I'm worried about her safety, and I don't oh. mean just getting run over by a drunk driver, but I also mean, you know, people get ideas late at night. Right. But right. things happen during the day, too. I know they happen during the day, but I'm not talking right. about during the day. I'm talking about at night. I see. She worries so, too much, though. Oh. You wait till you have kids. <laughs> So, are we talking about, maybe, uh, Lou, you have a good point here. Are we talking about um, a reliability and consistency as Lou is talking about, or are we talking about 10 o'clock and 